The future of working is remote, but the future of management is remote controlled. I'm Doug Yen, and I'm bringing the remote control to remote working. In 2020, I had to pivot my managerial style to work on Zoom. So when I asked all my employees to come back to the office, I had a problem. How can I be there for them without actually being there for them? Thanks to 3D printing and a little duct tape, I had a solution. Everybody knows you don't want to micromanage, but a physical presence is important for office morale. Now I can get back to collaborating with my team, mingling around the office, and most importantly, team building. I can feel this energy again. There is some maintenance involved, but internal feedback has been very positive. Happy birthday, birthday to me. I know, thank you. All right, uh, you can only be 35 so many years, am I right? I've also been experimenting with different mobility options. Sometimes you wanna feel like you're just strolling around the office like normal. There are some kinks to work out, but hey, it's not like Steve Jobs built the iPod in a day. You gotta keep people on their toes. You never want your management style to get too predictable. Though, there's been a handful of HR concerns. Good management requires subtlety. While I love to feel like I'm in the trenches with my team, nobody wants to feel like somebody's hovering over their shoulder. So I hover 10 feet above their head. What are you saying? The, the, the expense report for September, do you know you have it? Ah! I've been known as a disruptor in the industry. For business travel, it helps to have more compact solutions. People respect someone willing to show up as a children's doll. And hey, it's not all work and no play around here. I still get to let loose on Wacky Wednesdays. Things have been going so well, I've allowed some folks to work remotely again. Sure, there's been some internal feedback calling my management style a creepy, over-engineered excuse. But like open office layouts and unlimited vacation days, some workplace revolutions just take a little getting used to. Some folks just can't think outside the box. I'm fine, Chris! 